If you are here, it means you want to add some colors to your nano editor. After this video, you'll know how to accomplish just that. Let's go to our terminal. The first thing we want to start with is nano installation. Depending on our system, if it's Red Hat, CentOS or Fedora, we will use YUM. If it's Debian or Ubuntu, we will simply use Aptitude. In our case, it will be sudo yum-y install nano. Now, let's suppose you want to create some PHP code. Let's create it using nano by executing nano test.php. And inside, we will only enter some basic code, for example, x equals 1, y equals around x divided by 2. And as you can see, nothing special happened. So how to add syntax highlighting? For starters, I suggest you browse the directory with sample files. If we run ls and then usr share nano, we will see a list of uh, ready-made sample files. In the content of one of them, let's say usr share nano php.nanorc, we will see a very basic configuration that allows syntax highlighting. To use it in our system, we can create an additional file for each user or we can do it globally. So let's do the latter. To make global changes, we need to add them to the file etc nano rc. And after scrolling through all the additional options, you will find a commented uh, line with a link to our file. Let's uncomment it. And if we now go back to our file, we will see a slightly more colorful syntax. But what if you want to create your own color system? Or, for example, you are designing a telephone system and want to create files for asterisk. On our website, and link is in the description, you will find an example file with syntax highlighting for asterisk. All you have to do is to just download it. So let's go to USR, share nano, and then wget and the link files hotkey404.com block asterisk.nanorc. After downloading the file, let's attach it to our configuration. To do this, we can simply execute the command echo include our file and let's add it at the end of etc nano rc. Right after that, we can edit, let's say the file etc asterisk extensions.conf and voila, we have syntax highlighting for asterisk. However, there are a few things worth mentioning. First, we want to decide in which files uh, we want to colorize the syntax. In our file, at the very beginning, it says that uh, we want to color both uh, conf files in etc asterisk and the whole system. Actually, this is a redundant entry. If you want to colorize files just in etc asterisk, delete the second entry, but keep in mind that then the files in subfolders of this directory will no longer have syntax highlighting. Second point, color is not the same as eye color because eye color is not case sensitive while color is. So if you're using color, remember that confbridge is not the same as confbridge. Third, try to learn the basics of regex, although it might seem scary. I suggest going to, for example, regex101.com and paste some of your code to check if regex recognizes your code properly. Point number four, 
the order matters. Each subsequent line of code completes and overrides the previous one. So if in our case we want to copy the coloring of variables before noob and verbose, we need to remember that we will achieve a different end result. Number five, if you want to add more colors than just basic eight, remember that on newer terminals you can use additional colors and prefixes such as bright green or light red. And the last but not the least, you might want to read the documentation. Of course, the link is in the description and you might not need it at this stage. However, if you go to this website, you will find a lot of additional options that you may want to use in our system. Of course, there are tons of websites where you can download ready-made files with syntax highlighting. On our website, we focused mainly on asterisk syntax. So if you have any suggestions on how to improve our file, please leave a comment. So that's all for today and see you in the next one.